And with Halloween nearly here, one thing on the mind of many parents is safety. Tonight, KDK's Alexandra Todd has some ways to keep your family out of harm's way and some alternative options for celebrating. Alexandra. Hi, Ken. Yes, I spoke with Butler Township Police and many parents at two different Halloween trick-or-treating events, and they all talked about different ways to stay safe. Butler County Chamber of Commerce hosted a trick-or-treat event at Preston Park and focused on providing more for safety this year. This year we're parking all the cars at the farm show and we're busting them in so it's safer for the kids as they run around the park. We don't have to worry about all the cars and we have police officers on the scene. I love your costume. Parents are on board with the change. It's amazing actually. Um, it's, it's amazing for Butler uh, Township to put this on. Um, it's well lit. It's well, um, it's well executed. Butler Township Police Sergeant offered tips and a few gentle reminders for families. Stay out of people's houses that you don't know. Uh, Stay away from vehicles that want to hand candy out to the kids. So those would be some of the things. Um, I don't know of very many tampering with candy issues, but I grew up, we always inspected our candy before we ate it. Ready for your candy? Two main fears about being out in the dark with your kids at night are vehicles and road safety. Probably the biggest hazard is the, are the vehicles are on the roadways. So you want to make sure you keep a close eye on your kids, tell them not to run across the road, you know, the old standard, look both ways, take your time, make sure they have flashlights. Not a bad idea to have their costumes illuminated. This is really nice because it's like all these vendors are places from the community and you're also not walking out on the road because it's kind of traffic kind of makes me nervous. Trick or treat! Union Presbyterian Church in Robinson Township held a trunk or treat as another alternative to door to door trick or treating. It's a fun event for all the kids just to run around and um, we know everybody, it's a good, safe environment. And if your family is planning a traditional night of trick or treating, the Next Door app offers a spooky good tool this year. Neighbors can drop a pin on their home if they are giving out candy. That way, families can map a route with no tricks, just treats. And police are saying that these alternative ways of trick or treating are proving to be safer. In Pittsburgh, Alexandra Todd, KDKA TV News.